I know I don't upload on this channel a lot, and that's just because I've been focused on a lot of stuff behind the scenes. And one of the biggest priorities for me right now is literally just selling everything I own on Facebook Marketplace because I'm about to start a crazy journey where I leave this life behind. I leave everything that I own, everything that I have, all the people that I love here in my hometown and start traveling the world and literally living out of a backpack. All I have is like a tiny little carry-on case, a backpack, and everything else that I own is good, being completely liquidated right now, which is, you know, something that I feel like a lot of people would fear. You know, we go through our life just accumulating stuff, and, but what I found is there's nothing more freeing than being able to just let go of your possessions. And every time I see someone walk out of my home from Facebook Marketplace carrying one of my couches or one of my tables, or, you know, some of the old like camera gear that I'm selling, it's free. It's like, wow. That's one less physical item that's preventing me from having mobility and, and true freedom to just live my life the way I want to live it. I've been living in this condo in the suburbs just outside of Toronto for three or four years now. And winter is my least favorite season. It's one of the reasons I'm traveling is to escape the cold, but it's actually one of my favorite seasons. And the reason being is that every winter, the leaves on these trees die. In the summer, these trees are so tall that it obscures my view. I can't actually really see my neighborhood. All I see when I look out my window and sit here on the balcony is I see these trees. But in the winter, the leaves die and it gives me this insane, unobscured view. Take that view in. Now you're probably thinking, Hunter, not really the best view. You know, there's, there's no towers, there's no landmarks, there's no mountains. And that's exactly it. Every day in the winter, I look out at this street and right now there's no snow on the ground but in a couple months there will be this street in the winter does not get plowed there's no plow access here and every day as i sit my morning coffee and look out my window i see people at 7 a.m out there with fucking shovels trying to get their cars off the street because they bought one of these million dollar townhomes that can only fit one car in the driveway one million dollars to live in these townhomes and for what so you can spend three hours a day stuck in traffic after spending 30 minutes warming up your car trying to shuffle it out of a snow pile. So you can live in a home that you can't afford, pay payments on a car you can't afford, so you can be near a job you don't like. That's why I love the winter, is because it takes away these trees and I can see the view every day that reminds me why I work so hard to build a life that I want, because I know that's just not the life I want. And it's kind of sad because I grew up in this area and I see a lot of people that I grew up with buying into this life, buying into a real estate bubble, buying million dollar townhomes, not really mastering themselves, not really living up to their potential. And it's out of fear because all they want is security. We live in such a weird time with inflation and a lot of uncertainty of things happening in the world that for a lot of people, you know, there's comfort in, you know, yeah, I live a life where I'm just making my ends meet, living paycheck to paycheck, living an unaffordable life, working a job I hate, spending all day in traffic and shoveling snow. But at least I have a million dollar townhome to go home to at night. There's nothing more inspiring to me than looking at this view every day in the winter and reminding myself, I gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> and like, man, this might sound like a douchey speech, but it's not. Because I was living that life. You know, I went to business school for seven years where they didn't teach me sales. They didn't teach me any practical skills about how to start a corporation, how to hire your first employee, how to actually find customers, find demand for a product and start your own business. What they taught me was how to be a middle manager at a Fortune 500 company. They taught me how to be a corporate slave so that I could buy a car I couldn't afford, wear suits that I can't afford to impress people I don't care about so I could afford a million dollar townhome and shovel snow every morning to drive three hours through traffic to downtown Toronto to work a job that doesn't make me happy. Out of school, I was fortunate enough to get an internship at one of the biggest banks in Canada, which for business students is a fucking flex. Posting photos up on Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever, in a suit overlooking the financial district is what every business student dreams of. But I found myself up there on the 54th floor looking out the giant windows wishing that glass is a little bit thinner so i could just fucking jump out it i was so miserable in that job and if you find yourself in a path right now where maybe you're in school maybe you're graduating maybe you're in that corporation working that job where 
you just get shit on all day. You work so hard working 60 hours a week, but like, but what is it all for? So you can buy a million dollar townhome? It's just not worth it, boys. I would rather sell everything I own and just live a life of freedom. And what I've realized as, you know, I'm almost 30 now, I feel like an old dog in this race. I wish I realized this earlier. Freedom is the ability to do what you really want. Have mobility, be able to travel, be able to be carefree. The more possessions you have, the more debt that you get into, the more you strip yourself of your freedom. So every day for the next 13 days while I'm here in Canada, I'm gonna look at this view and I'm gonna be thankful that I took a gamble on myself, started to build a business, started to create a life that I actually wanted to, found a way to make money on the internet where I'm not tied to a physical location. And look, so many people work from home right now. There's literally nothing stopping you from living the life that you wanna live other than your material possessions and what other people think about you if you decide to give it all up and actually chase your dreams. But there's an interesting stat where when you die, and it's the day of your funeral, if it's raining that day, 30% of people that were gonna go to your funeral will look outside, see rain, and decide, ah, you know what, I'm gonna stay inside. I'm not gonna show up to the funeral. These are the people whose opinions you care about. These are the people who, you know, you're worried, oh, what are they gonna think if I sell everything I own and travel the world and chase my dreams and try to build something on the internet? You know, I went to the bar the other night and I ran into someone I haven't seen since high school. And he said, yo, buddy, a bunch of people in town have seen your TikToks. You know, they, they kind of talk shit, but I think your videos are funny. And I thought, bro, imagine I gave a fuck what those people think and lived a life where I didn't put myself out there, didn't try to build something better for myself because I was worried about their opinions. And for what? So I could live in a million dollar townhome, shoveling snow every time that it snowed trying to dig my car out of a fucking snow mountain so I could drive through three hours of traffic to work a job I hated. I'm fucking grateful. I'm blessed for the life that I built for myself. Blessed for the people around me who support me in this journey. And look, a lot of people don't understand it. And maybe you're watching this video and you don't understand it either and there's nothing wrong with that. Live your life. But for the 1% of you who do watch this video and you kind of see what I'm saying, believe in yourself. Do what you gotta do and sometimes in life you just gotta say fuck it and make a radical change and I'm so pumped to do that and, and get out of here.